Hi, it's 4.40 in the afternoon on Wednesday the 20th of July 2022 and I have basically just sat down um, since getting home about 45 minutes ago so boss went nuts, um, had to remake my bed and yeah just like put everything away and do what needed to be done, water my plant again um, and now I just thought today, like, obviously I wanted to do an update. Um, so I guess I'm going to start it with, I am very aware, and I'm fairly certain I've shared this a lot with you guys, um, but I am unfortunately one of those people that just have to learn the same lesson over and over and over again. So... I reckon it's about twice in the last week now that I have given myself rules about vaping my weed. I absolutely have vaped weed. Like, full disclosure. So, I was washing my dishes from breakfast just before, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, there are definitely days and times where I just don't want to. And I don't. I didn't last night, didn't want to. I knew it wasn't going to help me. Um... But I feel crappy, and I mean crappy in the sense that I've had an absolutely pounding headache all day. The drive home was not fun, um, because we're talking like headache to the point where if it had have even gotten like slightly worse, I would have had to pull over. Um, it's also been a very interesting day. So I've lived here in Melbourne uh, for 18 years. Gone by fast, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, and yet I can I can say, with the best of my recollection, today was the strangest day I think I've ever driven in Melbourne. So I witnessed something that I don't fully understand and haven't Googled to see if there's been any, like, stuff said about it. So I um, use my GPS everywhere because, you know, you're trying to avoid traffic. And obviously, oh, here's another lesson while I'm thinking about it. So this morning I made a video and it's behind me and I can see it says 18 minutes and 40-something seconds, yeah? Um no to self do not make videos when i need to be somewhere because when i started the video i'm like i haven't watched it i wanted to talk my day out before watching them um i'll pop them crap stuck in my teeth though anyway no there it is um so i first checked the gps and i was like and I, I think i said it right at the beginning um let me think. If I had a left then, I would have got to campus by 8.34. Yeah. What I always forget huh, is that leaving 10 or 15 minutes later can actually, in like, in, what am I trying to say? What seems like a little bit later can add so much time to the trip because the traffic just keeps getting worse, right? So, my GPS kept, like, was taking me a random way anyway, and you know they come up and they're like, faster route available, yep, 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 trying to get to uni uh, to class, because, as I said this morning, I got up from bed, I put the, <laughs> I put the towel on the windscreen, it was frosted, the rest of the car was frosted, obviously, I remember taking the towel off, now I should have taken a photo, and I remember thinking, awesome, it was fine. Now, this is where I'm not truly sure if, about the next part, so I'm just going to explain it. Because um, when I did take it off, I thought it was fine. I, I honestly remember thinking that, but now I can't fully say 100% because the rest of the car was not. And we're talking like, I mean, if any of you are here, you know, like that, it was ice. I could not fucking see. And so I got the water and I tipped it around. Now, obviously, I'm aware, like, hot water will break it and glass, so it's cold water. And if I'm doing that wrong, and it's meant to be, like, in my head, I'm pretty sure that's right, yeah? Cold water on the ice, so you don't smash it. But um, it wasn't coming off. Like, it really wasn't coming off. And 
then the next thing I remember thinking is the windshield was ice, like the whole front of it. And I was like, was it ice under the towel or did I somehow put water on it without thinking and it froze that quickly? I honestly don't know the answer. But what the result was, was about, oh, I can't believe it, like 20 minutes easy might have been more. Um, I tried to get this ice off my car. I couldn't see. I tried to blast the air conditioning, use the debugger. I did everything I knew to do, and it wasn't helping. Um, and I was just watching the clock, clicking over, going, oh, fuck. I was aiming to get there by 9.30 because I spoke to a unit yesterday, as I said, right? And um, with the disability coordinates and things like that, um, they do the food bank and I was like look last week I wanted to to participate in the food bank but the line was insanely long and I just physically cannot stand that long so they told me to get there by 9 30 today and if worst case I couldn't obviously go after them so I was hoping to get there by then and then once that was a goner like I knew that wasn't going to happen I just wanted to get to class on time yeah like at university Nobody really cares if you come in late, this, that, anything else. But I'm traveling over an hour in each direction. I want to be there. Like, this unit is costing me. Um, I'm using, like, this little container for my fucking footrest. Um, yeah, this unit alone cost me 850 I think. 850 And then there's all the student fees and all the other stuff on top, yeah. And I don't get loans in amount in Australia because I'm Kiwi. Um, so I'm paying for this as I go. So yeah, I want to get the most absolute beneficial part of it I can. Anyway, um, it took forever. Like, and I used the towel and like trying to scrub the, the fucking glass off, and it just oh caused an awful lot of pain and a lot of frustration. Um. And I was listening to my textbook while driving. And like I said, the GPS took me crazy by that. I don't know where I was. Um, but I got onto the Westgate Bridge at the very closest exit, right? All I've wanted all day is coffee. And then I start talking and then I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I get onto the Westgate Bridge. And it was like gridlocked, yeah? But it was weird. Like, okay, so I think getting on. How, okay, I'm just going to explain it the way I explained it to the pharmacist when I saw them on the way home. There was all these trucks, and we're talking the big trucks with like the two trailers and everything with their hazard lights on. And once you got to like maybe the middle of the bridge or just beforehand, and this is headed directly to the city. There was just truck after truck after truck with their hazard lights on. So the traffic around them is fine, but all the rest of the traffic is just gridlocked, like I said. And this random line of trucks continued all the way off the West Bank, all the way down, like almost to the big first sign that's telling you where to go for what lane and whatnot, yeah? And I was just like, what is happening? And I obviously have no flicking on flip an idea um but I made it to campus on time pretty sure I said this this morning too right there's a car park under the building that I'm in and that is where I wanted to park and I checked the map and I thought it was fine and I got there and I drove in circles no flipping idea couldn't find it didn't know what the hell I was doing in the end I had to go to the closest disability parking I could get to and then I got on to like the main grounds and I'm Again, like, what the fuck? No, actually, sorry, from the car park, I didn't know where the hell I was. I had to ask multiple people. Then I got to the, the main grounds, and there was security guards there, and I was like, can you please tell me how to get to the car park for the building I'm in? Because I just really couldn't find it. Um, so they've circled it on my map, but I'm going to see if I can figure out, like, it, they've given me, like, an address, like, to get the street, addresses so I'm going to put that in the GPS and try and figure it out before next week um but yeah the the 
to some of that story is I once again was parked on the on the wrong side of campus, which means walking over that flipping bridge I talked about last time. It's a very long bridge. And I was already feeling frustrated and shitty and just all over the place with a headache and just exhausted. I was so flipping tired. I took my second Ritalin in the car on the drive there. Didn't, like, it was like, would have been like 9.40, I think. And I was like, cannot wait, taking it now. I'd wanted to get to campus to get coffee in time. None of that happened. Um, class was really good, though. As always, I answered all the questions. Like, the teacher literally had to ask other people to input. Because, you know, I'm talking to all of you and it's fine. Thankfully, though, I was able to figure out what my two hypotheses... Oh, I never know how to say that word right either. Uh, for my lab report, because... If I hadn't gone to campus, I think I would have really fucked it up because I got very confused in class. And I wrote, I think I wrote like four in total. One was right, uh, the other two were wrong. And then the teacher actually came and sat down and I was like, yeah, I'm clearly missing something. And um, that's when she explained what the variables I had to use was. And it was like, oh, okay, I don't even know if that concept is negative of Neg negative effect. So that's my first bit of homework is to understand that completely because, well, my second hypothesis includes it. Um, but yeah, so I really wanted to just go straight home after class. Um, but while I'd been in class, I sent a bunch of things through to the the printers in the library because you just send them through and then they queue up you just go and get them all at once um and as i said i was on the wrong side of campus parked anyway so i had to go to through past the library i took a picture of the scooter it is 100 percent an actual you know old person scooter it's legitimately just that it's yeah no i i walked past it i took a photo and i thought to myself i'm definitely not there yet i would much rather a really cool walking stick did that. Um, anyway, so I'm a part of a Facebook group chat for the unit for philosophy. Uh, I keep doing that for personality. Um, and I'm the one that put up on the discussion board after talking to the unit chair. Like if people want to join, they're going to need to know how. So I volunteered because I wrote it, obviously, and I put my university email. So people are emailing me and I'm adding them as, I, as we go. And I've started talking to someone. Uh, who was freaking out, um, so I, vo I volunteered to like video call her, but she's not well at the moment, um, and we just started talking, she's my age, is awesome, like, it doesn't matter, like, how old you are as a student, it really does it, but like, sometimes I just feel really overwhelmed by how much and how fast these 18, 19, 20 year olds do, it's just like, whoa, like, it's impressive, yeah, um, and I, I sent them to the queue and I was like, I'm just going to get there when I'm going home. I was cranky um, and my head, as I said, thumping. But when I walked into the library, it was just so warm and cozy and so many people. And I was able to shift my perspective and be like, I'm in a mood. Like I, I was in a mood, yeah. And I knew that if I came home in the mood I was in, it would have made me depressed and it would have made me more moody and cranky and sad and it really would not have helped me at all. So, I'm quite proud of myself. I went and found a place to sit where I could charge my laptop and I started going through the research for my lab report because let's face it, it's the 20th of July and it's due on the 26th of August. But like a 2,000 word lab report, like I've said, could be anywhere from 10 to 15 pages. So it's a bucket load of work, yeah? Um, and we need to have, like we're third year, so to get to get the like actual grades that I want, I'm going to have to use like a minimum, minimum of 10. But the one that they read out like as a, 
the teacher today was like, here's an example of one. And then she went to the end and she counted the references. And this person's references, they had 18 different references. Um, so that's about where I got to aim, basically. That's a flipping lot of freaking reading. Um, and I don't like screens, yeah? I also like... I have to wear my glasses when I'm this far away from my laptop, but I don't have to wear my glasses to read. Um, so what I'd sent to my queue when I was still in class was obviously, I think I've shown you, like I've got this, yeah? These are the transcripts for the videos that are specifically about the learning objectives, which are an exam, right? Which are for their exam. So I'm just continuing to do that. They'll all be added to that. That's like weekly content. So... I think I've set tiers, I've done one week's content. I'm currently in week two. I have obviously got week two's content to do as well, but I think it's safe to say I'm probably going to focus solely online. Well, not solely, I need to keep refreshed and whatever, but my assignment is going to be a chunk of work. It's going to take an awful lot of my energy and time and all of it. And it is worth 45% of my grade. And the exam's only worth 30. And it's multiple choice. And it's online. And it's open book. So I guess you can see why I'm going to focus on that first. But since it's free to print, and obviously uni has like super fancy printers, unlike my, you know, Officeworks $100. Might not have even been that. So the paper that they use is better. Like sometimes if I highlight my own printing, it smudges and that bugs me. Um, so, so far I've got to read for my assignment. And that's only, that's only five readings, I think it is. Yeah, five readings. Um, thankfully, a really wonderful way to do this is to go to the reference list and then start working through what you think. So, obviously I can't actually talk about my assignment in detail because I need to get all the results back and have that all finished and finalized uh, before I can talk about my assignments but I'm really really happy with where I'm at with them so that's good. Another lesson I've learned is when I try to force myself to not vape weed I vape e-cigarettes instead and they're yucky and actually addictive whereas like I said weed I'm prescribed it. I live in fucking chronic pain. I don't know why I try to make my life harder than it needs to be. Yesterday was a shitty day. Yesterday it went really well to begin with. Like it was great. Everything was great. And then just panic about university set in and it was just everything. I didn't enjoy it. But I've been talking for 18 minutes. Boss is barking his absolute head off and my coffee's getting cold. So I'm having a really good day. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say was I went to my pharmacist to get my medication and I've hit the threshold, which means besides the private bladder medication, because it's not on the PBS, and thankfully it's $29.90, unlike the last lot, which is 66 30 pills for each. Um, I've hit the threshold. So for the entire rest of the year, I don't have to pay for any medication. <sighs> Thank you, Universe, and the Australian PBC, PBS. Anyway, I'm done. I got some reading to do. Talk later.